Hi! You're watching my tutorial on Brahms handle variations, and this is part 3. Now here is variation 1. The first variation stays pretty much in the style of the Baroque era, and especially in the transitions it resembles the theme itself. In both cases we have 30 seconds notes serving as an embellishment. Theme, variation 1, theme, variation 1. The character of this variation is very light and flowing. The reason for this is that the rhythm of both hands are complementary. In the right hand we have two sixteenth notes followed by an eighth note. In the left it's an eighth and two sixteenth notes. To put a bit more pepper in the structure, Brahms shifted the emphasis in the right hand by adding chords and accents on the eighth notes, which would otherwise have to be played very lightly. The harmonics are exactly the same as in the main theme. You can verify this by combining the right hand of the theme with the left hand of the first variation. Last but not least, I want to put some light on a very interesting spot. At a first glance it might sound as a simple sequence upwards. But actually, the right hand plays two voices together, overlapping each other. Each voice has a motif of these three tones. And the tension of this sequence results from the interlocking of the motifs. That's it for variation number one. The next variation has a completely different manner, so I hope you will join me again in part 4. See you then!